if you can use Instagram properly, you're, you're, you're good. I mean, that's what, exactly how I got where I'm at today. Instagram, hundred percent. Yeah. If you we connected through hashtag through. things, if you, as long as you, you know, as long as you treat it like a little bit more professionally, like people, you know, hashtag the things and tag people and don't blow them up constantly. Or, or if you're able to like make things look appealing in a certain way and work DMS and, this is the Real Talk University podcast, where your hosts, Andre and Christian, explore success stories outside of the classroom. Gross. I'm a photographer from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I've been shooting for 13 years, and now I work with Post Malone as his personal photographer. Yeah, for anybody out there that follows Post, you've probably seen his uh, captions. They always say, by Adam DeGross, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So uh, how did you become interested in, like, find your passion in photography? Um, I used to book shows. I used to be really into like the punk scene and I used to book like all the punk shows uh, like before it was like MySpace, like way long ago. And like to promote the shows, I would take photos and then I would uh, um, post those photos and then hype up the shows with the photos. Right. So how did you kind of get those out there before social media was really big? I did it. I didn't. They were just like, they were just in my vault of shit. And then... <laughs> Yeah, one day I, was, I used to work at Best Buy as like a door greeter. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for real. And um, <laughs> I showed the photos to this guy and he was like, these are incredible. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you just like fucking around at Best Buy? And you should be doing photos. <laughs> yep. And um, so I, 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 I self-funded my own, like my, like my first gallery and like a, a, a book. And I didn't know what I was doing. So I just put all this money into it. And it, it did really, really, really well. And it like, kind of got my name out there. and um, that's just where like that just kind of started and then everything kind of evolved when like punk and rap kind of crossed over i was kind of like one of the first people that was like doing some of the earlier people like you know like suicide boys would come through and i did that yep. and then yeah blew up into crossing over to okay rap and punk are kind of a mixture right now i'm just getting then i started doing more rap and then it just went from there that's, that's sweet. dope like what yeah. you use at first like to did you have like a specific camera that you used or like wasn't that not really yeah important? i've always i've always shot with sony but it's because I'm self-taught and the guy at the camera shop was like, use Sony. So I use a Sony Alpha. So I didn't know. Yeah, You could say Nikon, Canon, and, and Sony. I don't know anything about <laughs> yep. them. Like, I kind of know now, but like back then and even up until like a few years ago, I knew like nothing about gear or stuff. Wow. It was just the, the camera guy said, hey, get a Sony. They're going to be good cameras eventually. And I was like, all right, right. I'll just try. And then they, <laughs> now they're, it's all I've ever used is Sony. So. sweet that's dope so you never really like took a photography class whether it was in college or on your own time you just kind of taught yourself i i took one but i got zero percent in it <laughs> <laughs> what? yeah that's yeah. crazy I, yeah it was in high school and i just never i never went you wow. should email email that teacher be like look what i, I know huh? <laughs> yeah. that's crazy but no I, yeah i'm self-taught and then um but i did go to school for um i went for a few semesters for like video stuff and blah 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 but i didn't I never, never, never did that. So, like, did you have like a mentor or someone that kind of helped you, or it was really just all? Like, no, on just your me. Own? I really just did it all by myself. That's like, I mean, like people, people would help you because, like, um, I had more people that just like believed in me to do stuff because, like, you have to get photo passes and you have to get people's not really permission, but you have to have people who are comfortable with you, you know. And like, yeah, back in, like early on, like I'd get like I'd take like really, you know, like. I'd always be around like these punk shows and all this stuff and be like really involved in it. And those people didn't care if I was always taking photos of them because I was just like their friend. And then now like you gotta have that trust with people and like, you gotta be able to get photo passes and people gotta have to like really believe in you because everyone wants to do photography. So it's like, you know, if everyone got a photo pass there, no one, there'd be no room for camera. Like people to stand and take photos, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Word. So, like, when you, like, started to show, like, other people your photography work and whatnot, was there, like, something that stood out to them that, like, separated you from everyone else? Well, I mean, I think it was just that it was so, it was, like, the real, it was real life. It was, like, my actual life was on these photos. Like, it was, like, the actual punk scene was, it was real, you know. It wasn't, like, I wasn't posing people. I wasn't doing this. It was just... I was a fly on the wall that I'd always had my camera. So nobody ever questioned it. And I, I didn't really care about like, 
like, okay, my, if my camera gets bumped, I'm not going to like freak out about it. So I'll be right in the pit with people and I'll be jumping off the stage with That's my camera. So dope. You know, like, this was years ago. But, <laughs> That's um, sick. <laughs> so like people were like, wow, these are like really intimate, like crazy intimate part, like photos of people and life yep. and all that stuff. And then I just transfer that to the, to rap, you know, and then like, it just, it's like that now, you know, yeah. nobody paid attention to me that when I have my camera, cause I just always have it. And I'm, I never, you know, I've, and I've never like done photos for people that are going to make them look bad, you know, or something like that. Like, yeah. Like that. So people just trust me. So how are you able to take like still pictures in the pit without like catching an elbow <laughs> to the face or something like that? Well, I'm, 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 I'm fairly tall. So gotcha. I'd be able to, like, I just kind of stand and just kind of, I mean, I would, I would get hit. I mean, my camera, my, <laughs> my lens, I mean, my flash has been busted. Like the screen's been busted because like it, someone like kicked it. Once someone like, like staged up right onto my flash and it was just <laughs> no right, way. Like, was it done <laughs> uh, yeah. that's so dope so like yeah, what... so originally before rap stuff like i don't know if a lot of my more current fans know but i came from like the punk scene and my photos from the punk world actually got me into got fairly well known and that's where i kind of come from so not i didn't just jump in the rap world and here i am and yeah I exactly do, yeah so i came from that world and people kind of started you know getting this vibe of like even you know like i said like how would like rap and punk kind of crossed over yeah yep. i was kind of there help you know doing that and that's how i met little peep i did his photos and that's how i met post because through um my photos of little peep uh who i was going to be his photographer from like you know it was kind of in the works i was going to be like what i am now for post but for peep yeah. And then he passed away, and then my um, post got my my photo tattooed on him. And then one of the guys, <laughs> was kind of one of his like day to day managers, is a huge fan of Lil Peep. So when I went out, I was going to go out to shoot Lil Peep at this festival, but he he passed, and then um, they turned it into a memorial set for him. And that's the headline was Post Malone. So I was like, Hey, can I just come take photos of Post tonight? And they're like, Yeah, cool. Whatever we met and we got along, and then um, the uh, the Super Bowl and a whole bunch of stuff was happening at uh, in Minnesota, and um, he came and he did a whole bunch of shows there, and so I just I took photos of him like four times in like a span of like a month, you know. Right. So, uh, so I just got and then the tour is getting routed, and like oh well, do you want to you know do you want to try being the tour photographer, and then that was that. That's, That's so incredible. Dope. Just get your foot in the door, basically. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it took years, but, like, now it's my full-time job, you know, because even up until, like, the, the first day that I worked with him was the day that Beer Bongs and Bentleys came out. Yeah, it and was. Up and until, up until that tour, I worked at a grocery store, you know. Holy I worked shit. At a grocery store. Yeah, I do a minimum wage job. Like, it was – but I, I, I kept the job because I it was, like, 11 to 7, so I could sleep in and go to shows and do this. And, like, they knew what I was doing. And I even asked, I was like, hey, can I come back to the job after the tour? And they're like, no, you just got to go do it. Like, just quit. Just, just go do photos. I'm like, yeah. All right. yeah. So I did. I just jumped right in and it's been nonstop since. So. Yeah, it's just taking like a big risk and like taking a big bet on yourself and like seeing mm -hmm. where you could go with it, which is so dope. Yeah. There's always a story Cause behind it. Yeah, because I mean, everybody can get a job. I mean, you can get a job. But it's like, I mean, I, how many times are you going to get this opportunity, you know? Yeah, Never. exactly. It's fucking post malone stuff yeah which and, and that was like you know i was like even i knew we i mean i knew he was gonna be like the big but like he became the biggest thing in the world um you know since this last album yeah. you know so, right yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. It's so good what's time. that good what's play. that been like like obviously like you're really close to him you're part of the team so like how's the transition been like since you first started to where you guys are now oh we're cool i mean he's always been cool he's always he's just a cool guy everyone the whole team's cool. I mean, like, I'm jumping in, and there's, like, you know, there's people who have been around for years, and then there's crew that's been together for years that are this and that, and now it's kind of the new the new guy. So, but everyone's taking me in, and it's just been great. Everyone's just friends, you know. It's just a fun yeah. fun vibe. And he, he really is exactly how he is in interviews, and I think he is. He's just a cool guy. So, it's like he's still, just still the same <clears throat> from the day I met him to yeah. now, you know. It's cool. Yeah. What's it been like traveling, doing shows, and going on tours with them, like seeing different places of the world? Um, I've, I've toured before, but this is like this is cool. I mean, I, I get to go 
I mean, I went to the Middle East, Japan. I mean, this is our like, third time in Europe in like a year. So yeah, uh, it's just cool. I and mean, we go into different places. It's just fun to see new things and all because of photography and all that. I mean, obviously because it's also one, but so through <laughs> photography, I get to go do my dream and all that stuff. It's and, amazing. Yeah, it's, sweet. it's cool. You know, it's, it's, I don't take any of it for granted, you know, it's just that it's, it's amazing. You know, it's amazing feeling to be like, Oh, I'm right now I'm in Sweden. I'm like, Oh, I'm in Sweden right now. This is crazy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> love to visit Sweden one day. Yeah. yeah. So like, what did people think when you chose like to pursue a passion of photography? Um, my parents always kind of were like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not, they didn't openly say it, but I could like get the vibe, you know? So it's like, um, I, I don't think they ever really fully knew that it was going to be like this. And I don't think they really uh, thought that it would go to this, the, to this level. But a couple of years ago, I started kind of making a little bit of money from it. It started to kind of make a little bit of sense. And I was getting offers from like Rolling Stone magazine to do stuff or wow. venues and like just like little bit you know i was getting like jobs you know I started like okay i'm getting a little extra money and i kind of feel but i feel it coming you know like you feel the momentum shifting yep. my way and i think it's gonna happen and then i was like all right well, i'm going on this tour i didn't even tell my parents i quit my job i was like oh yeah they're gonna <laughs> give my job back when i uh, yeah it's whatever i shouldn't have to tell my parents everything but still i was just like you know yeah it's gonna be cool everything's good don't worry about me like well i'm an only child so they're kind of you know oh well you should you know, think about what you're doing. And I was like, it'll be fine. And now, <laughs> now that they like, they, they, they see that I, you know, I make, I'm actually making a living for myself doing this. They're like, yeah, we, I mean, my dad and my dad says he's glad that I never listened to him. So <laughs> are they yeah. Post Malone fans? <laughs> yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, it's funny. Now they are. My, now my dad loves them. Now he like checks everything. <laughs> it's and then, dope. Yeah, it's cool. I but feel yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. It, but um, I mean, Everyone, I, I feel like everyone in my peer group kind of thought that that's what I was going to do. No one was ever like, you're, you're weird for trying to go for it. Yeah. So I kind of always steadily had little, like, um, accomplishments that were pretty good, like, pretty big for a photographers, like, even, like, in my younger career to now, you know, it was always every year I was always outdoing myself and people were like, all right, it's, you know, it, it seems right and it seems natural for you to do it, but, like, and then I just, you know, just jumped in and did it. And that was scary. I mean, for me, it was probably, I was probably more scared than anybody else, you know. To, <laughs> to do it. But I just had to, you know. It's one of those things. It's like, if I would have been like, well, what if I don't get another job? I would have been so. Yeah. I would have felt so stupid for the rest of my life, you know. You just got to take action, like, right away and yeah. just, like, get over your fears. Basically. Yeah. And well, I'm glad, I'm glad it took this long because now I know what to do and how to you know treat things more like a business yep and not be so oh i'm gonna go party i got can't i can't do that you know i gotta actually work it's like an actual job you know yeah yep. i feel like, like you appreciate was, was, it more yeah and if i was younger i think i would have it would have been a little bit more rocky than it. i would have probably i don't even know if i'd be lasted this long on tour because you know i'd be partying or whatever but like I think now that I'm, I'm 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 older and i've been doing it for so long that i i understand what it is now you know that's awesome. So I'm, glad, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. Like, okay, I got that one little thing, and I'm gonna quit everything and just go for photography, which is or like or anything, any type of dream. Like, I'm glad that I worked for it. And I made the right steps to do it, and now I feel like I'm able to handle it. You know, 100%. absolutely. So, yeah. going back to when you were growing up, like, did you have any favorite artists or rappers back then, or any big inspirations? Well, I mean, when I was younger, I was only into punk. Like that was, I was like. Yep militantly in the punk like that was it like that's all i like <laughs> that was that I, I mean i liked photography but i mean like i'd always like go look at like photo books and stuff like that for like old punk photos and this and that but like then i, I mean then i got into like kanye west and like common and stuff from like chicago and like yeah a little bit more backpack rap and stuff and i was like okay i kind of get rap and then i was like oh wu-tang's cool <laughs> and then i was like okay biggie's cool and then i was like then i started looking into more stuff and i was like all right this is cool but then um like kind of like when like the the Kendrick Lamar's and Drake's and ASAP Rocky and all those guys like that one little like wave of all those people came out yeah like oh this is sick like I actually I get it I get <laughs> like right when they right when they early came out you know like those old out like the ASAP Rocky album where they had like 
the big collaboration songs. Yo, it's like, yo. I had like eight different people, like Schoolboy Q and that generation. I was like, yeah, oh, that, that was this is it. You know, this is like a sick time for me. And then I went to, I went and saw Travis Scott at like a um, uh, 800 person room because wow. I was friends with um, one of the openers. And they're like, yeah, come to the show. It's gonna be cool. And I didn't know what I was like, going to get into because you listen to Travis Scott on record and it's super chill. And I saw it, and it was crazier than any yeah. punk band <laughs> ever. Period. Like it was, it was the one my personally one of my favorite shows of all time. And I was like, okay, there's something here, and there's a whole. Then I saw another show the next week with this dude, Rob Banks and Kuya, and I was like, okay, it was the exact same energy. I was like, oh my god, this is what I've been looking for <laughs> out of punk, but with rap, and it's catchier, and it's more energy, and there's. I get it, you know. I, I get it now. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I moved into that more because it just made sense. It was more fun, you know. Yeah, we actually went to Astro World back in December in Philly, and like the mosh pit, it was a blast. Like he's insane live. Like the Crazy. energy that. that, that oh, see my first show. Yeah, yeah. So when did you see him? Was that, was, that back like rodeo era? Before that, it was oh, like really. Wow. Yeah, it was like well, I mean, it might it might have been right around then, but it was like a it was like a Red Bull like show. It was like it's like. Red Bull used to do these, or they still do, like, breakout, breakout artists, you know, like, breaking, like, you know, like, they'll, they'll bring, oh, YG just had his first single, they'll put him out, you know, or, like, whoever, and they'll put him in small venues and stuff like that, or, like, that's where I saw him, so. Have you ever been in contact with Travis, or not yet? I've, I've been in the same room with him, but I've never gotten in contact. I think he's, I think he's, a, he'd be so fun to shoot. I've shot him a few times, but it's like, you know. If you got if you got the right access, I think it'd be fun to shoot yeah, him. Yeah, no, I've never, I've never really talked to him. I used to be afraid of him because I always think he'd break my camera. He's, <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like kick cameras and shit. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. So yeah, are you like, like connected, thing. like with yeah. other artists, photographers, or not really? Yeah, yeah. Other artists, photographers, we have like kind of our own little like network. You know, it's like yeah. oh, we're all friends. You know, it's like okay, you're doing this and you're doing that, like. I used to work for uh, ASAP Ferg, and um, uh, at the time, my friend, who was also in the punk, he he kind of came up the same as me, and uh, I worked for ASAP Ferg. He's like, "Oh, I'm working with Schoolboy Q." I was like, "Damn it, you want up? Like you're trying to one up me?" Blah blah. <laughs> and today, I was like, then went before Post Malone because he we always kind of had this like fun rivalry, and yeah. um, I was like, "Well, guess, guess what? I got you." Post Malone, I'm working with him. He's like, well, guess what? I work with Beyonce now. I was like, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. So, yeah, now he's like Beyonce and Jay-Z's guy. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, one that's, up. One that's up. crazy. But still, like, so, like, and throughout, like, traveling, okay, like, me and G-Eazy's photographer friends, or, like, me and who, you know, whoever. We're all, we all kind of know each other. Yeah. yeah. So, do you have, like, one person in mind? Like, I mean, obviously, yeah. Post Malone is, like one like probably the best if i had to choose one but like it someone else like if you had to further your career and work with someone for i mean i i think right now i mean i i wouldn't leave post mom for the world right now yeah you know, like no, not, I, just, <laughs> not not because like what but just because I, I like it i like his team or like him i like everything i guess like my become like my like second family you know yeah so like, right now i can't even think of it like i feel like if i was working with anybody else i would say post mom you know <laughs> yeah so how long have you been on with him because like a few years ago he came with future to a place called near my town called spec i don't know if you were there but i got to see him live and it no. was incredible it's only been a year okay like, only been, and that, almost less than the like the day that beer bongs and bentley's came was my first day wow yeah so like april, april. okay yeah, april gotcha. and you were following before obviously right yeah, I did a few. I did a few here and there shows, you know, because like he'd come to festivals in Minnesota and I'd take photos, or he'd play a show there and I'd take photos. It was kind of the whatever, you know, whenever he came, but it was never like a thing, you know. He didn't know who I was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I was like watching an interview that you did previously. I don't remember the name of the podcast, but you said that you made an album cover with like a disposable camera. So how easy is it oh, to yeah. actually take good photos with like the most basic equipment? Oh, I mean, you can. Anybody can do. I mean, you can do like. You at a Walgreens for seven bucks. Well, you, you know? just cut you just cut out there for a sec. Could you just say that again? Sorry. Oh, sorry. I just said you can. You, I mean, you can. It, you don't have to have the expensive gear. You don't have to do that. It's just all about the moment and the art yeah. and how you're able to do it. You know, just so like if you can't afford a huge DSLR camera or whatever, like 
you know, you can't afford all the film for a film camera. You can go out and take photos on some shitty point and shoot and still do it, you know? Yeah, and then the iPhones today are like 4K quality incredible. So you yeah, can just no, use your phone. Really. I mean, yeah, do it on your phone. Why not? Yep. I mean, I, I, I mean, well, I hope phones don't evolve anymore than, you know, get me out of the job. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, uh, no, I mean, if anybody can use uh, photos right now are more important than I, I think a lot of people think. Like more photos. I think like right when like like social media like Instagram like I think every year like more photos are taken in the like 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 triples you know yeah everyone's taking photos you know everyone takes everyone everyone there's always photos there's always photographers there's always can't there's more photos in the world than ever you know uh, yeah it's sure. amazing and yeah. like what do you think the best platform for sharing that is Instagram probably Instagram for sure I think Instagram changed my life hundred percent. Really, you want to talk about that just a little bit? Because one of our big themes, like using social media to like leverage and like make connections, stuff like that. So, oh, I mean, uh, if you can use Instagram properly, you're 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 good. I mean, that's what exactly how I got where I'm at today. Instagram, hundred percent. Yeah, if and you we connected through hashtag things. If you, as long as you, you know, as long as you treat it like a little bit more professionally, like people, you know, hashtag the things and tag people and don't blow them up constantly, or or if you're able to like make things look appealing in a certain way and work dms and do all that but like I, the moment the, the moment i got instagram one of my first followers was ace at ferg you know and then wow, i ended yeah. up he he told me a dm on me he just said i like your photos and we <laughs> followed each other for like a year and then i took photos for him again he was like come on tour with me for a quick run and look we'll, you know and just it, the, like that was the first week i got I, i've switched from like I, when i got instagram I got yeah. that job, you know? Yeah, it really is so, crazy. So, I mean, so social media awesome. is one of the most powerful things. It's, I mean, it almost, it's, it's so powerful and so um, rewarding if you can do it in the right way. And if you don't get, I mean, yeah, a lot of people, don't, I mean, just don't throw your whole existence away for social media and like, don't, you know, get bogged down in it and can have it control your life. But like, yep. if you use it right and if you use it smart, you can make, you know, a living off of like you know you can do whatever yeah it's, it's exactly. a new it's like a new um you know it's a it's a it's a new frontier you know it's everything's open right now for mm -hmm. anybody you know anybody yeah, there's can really go no and, barrier to entry yeah i mean really it's 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 a it, it's a new frontier and people can uh do it take it take it wherever they want to go you know 100 percent. so like yes. obviously so early in your career, like, did you have any like big failures that kind of set you back or discouraged you from continuing where you like were trying to go? Um, oh, hey. In one second. Um, no problem. I'm gonna walk out here real quick. Um, try to figure. Um, let me think of a big failure. Um, I was, I got hired to do the ASAP Ferg tour, and um, he uh. I didn't, uh, I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't doing things fast enough and I wasn't treating it as like a job and he kind of benched me for like a week, you know? So I was like, Oh, I got, I got this big opportunity and I blew it in like the first week, but then he brought me back, you know, but still, then I realized like, Oh, this is a job. This is like a real thing, you know? Mm -hmm. 100%. And you got to shoot a music video for him, right? And he really liked the vibe that your video brought. Oh yeah. That was cool. That was fun. That was like a DIY. That was like super like, I just had to, like, like I got thrown under the bus for, not like, I just got thrown in the fire. They're like, yeah. make this video now. And I was like, it wasn't like that, but it was, that's how it felt. And I was like, <laughs> so I just made this, like, like zero, bud, like, zero dollar budget music video for ASAP Ferg and Lil Uzi Vert and uh, Marty Baller. And it, it was like a punk video meets rap. And it was cool. That's Did he actually cool. use that for, like, YouTube and Vivo and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it came out wow. real, real release. It was, it was sick. What it was, song? Yeah, it's one of my favorite things I've done. So, what song is it? Uh, it's called Uzi Gang. So, oh sweet, we'll it's check it out. Bit. Yeah, it's cool. It's um, I did that, and then I've done a few other little videos here and there. But I don't really, I don't, I like doing them, but it's not like my 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 go to. Yep. So obviously, there's a lot of photography out there now. Everyone's trying to make it as a photographer. What do you have to say to anyone that's out there trying to pursue their passion in photography? Just, just go for it, and like always, don't, don't. Uh, do do something a little different you know or just keep to your your vision you know yeah always keep be consistent if you can be consistent and timely 
in that or if you're like you know or do something different but it's like there's so many photographers that things can get kind of washed out and you can't really not really paying attention to everybody but just if you're consistent and you're doing good work and it's your own style and you can like my goal is to be able to have someone look at a photo and be like oh that's adams without even looking at who took it you know yeah so like, i think if you can get to that level then you're, you're on the right path you know like i'll i'll scroll through and be like oh that's this person oh that's this person oh that's this person that's like because yeah. i can tell it's style you know that's awesome well, who were some big photographers when you were coming up were you like admiring people's styles um when i was coming up i didn't really like look at too many photographers that are like i didn't like like sit and like worship one or two but i like this one dude named edward culver who did the like, old punk photos from back in the day but um no i would just go to like random bookstores and like like sit and look through photo books and like try to get a little bit of inspiration from just stuff you know anything. yeah i think it's better to like limit yourself just so like you can keep your mind open to like your original thought and not be influenced mm -hmm. so much by others yeah that's why I, I just used to like almost like peel through it without even like stopping on a page i'll just kind of like look through <laughs> and maybe like look like try to get a little bit of a like it would like stick in my brain instead of like try to copy it it would just get a little like like click yeah. like, yeah. it would just be in my head you know but yep. without ripping it off you know yep so like obviously we follow post malone and you on instagram stuff like that so i was just wondering what the story was behind like those t-shirts that was it was just literally like by adam the cross oh uh, it was kind of a fun little joke you know it's like <laughs> an internal thing you know it's just funny and then people bought it it was, it was, just, it was a little just just for fun yeah and like people actually bought them like was there like yeah. a ton of sales <laughs> yeah i mean there, i mean there wasn't it wasn't you know i'm not retiring off of them and i wasn't making you know, <laughs> throwing money around it was fun you know it's a couple of hundred so it was cool it was fun oh, are they still on sale or is that just yeah yeah they're on sale you can find out oh, we gotta, we gotta pick one up <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but it's cool man it was just it was just good and i just think it's just funny because like a lot of photographers don't get credited all the time on social media when it comes to i mean anything you know like a lot of people you know it's like pulling teeth to get some people to credit but so it's really cool that they that you know he credits me you know yeah, that's yeah awesome. it's like his whole caption there yeah, yeah. so <laughs> all right so i have one more question before we do a little lightning round which is what we normally end on which are just like four quick questions that you give brief answers to but before that i just want to ask what does success mean to you being happy i mean just being able to do being being able to have your dream and at least try to go for it and then like just even if you don't even if you don't do it you're still like uh, at least if you take steps to do it i mean like you don't have to always be you know i'll, I'll never probably be the biggest star in the world but at least you know i did something with myself you know so i think i'm yeah. successful you know 100 percent. yeah <laughs> like you're working with post and you're doing yeah. great things so that's awesome yeah. so we're just going to go right into the lightning round. So the first question is, what would you tell your 18 year old self if you had like a few seconds with him? Uh, keep going and don't, 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 don't stop in doing the photography. Don't give in. hundred percent. So what has been the worst advice and the best advice you've ever received? The worst advice? Oh man. I don't know. Let me try to think. I don't know. I can't think of it. <laughs> really, I don't know. Um, yeah, it trips a lot of people up. You can start with the best advice. <laughs> um, can you see me? So okay. Yep. Yeah. Best advice. Um, don't start something you can't finish. That's what someone Damn. told me once. I like yeah. that. That's so yeah. Good. Yeah. That's so true. Cause people just start things and then like they don't. They're trying to focus on ten other things at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's just like never ends well yeah and that's what that's what happened with me i was like he said that and i was like all right you know but i think it was about being a, it was it was actually about being in a fight <laughs> he was like yeah, it's about, it's about, it's about like, fighting someone <laughs> and it was back, like back when i was younger so, that's, that's you know, dope. You know? <laughs> dope. so next one is what was your best purchase of a hundred dollars or less what is what would be my best purchase of a hundred dollars or less like what was it oh man it's gonna be a camera. <laughs> Not, no. Um, I don't know. Purchase of a hundred. 
I like jackets. So if I get a good jacket for hundred dollars or less, that's yeah. Nice. That's <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then the last one is other than you can't use by Adam DeGrasse for this question, <laughs> but what okay. what would you put on a billboard for the whole world to see? <laughs> oh man, I can't do by Adam DeGrasse. <laughs> 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 so I gotta keep with the brand, you know. I fight to make that happen, you know. I get I get my manager involved and he would make that happen for me. No one's <laughs> gonna tell me no. <laughs> Buy hundred girls on the billboard. That's what it is. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, we really appreciate the time, man. Like All right, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Take care. Keep doing Thank great you. things. Yeah.